Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Um, today I'm talking about Thursday. Thursday was easier and harder at the same time. Um, this is my last Thursday, which is usually my big planning day. Um, before everything gets really super crazy busy next week for our big event. Um, one of the things that we got going on is that we have special guests coming to this big event too. This event we've always called a global event. But of course because of Corona we haven't had any guests coming to the school from outside the country since fall of 2019. So our global events went mostly online. Um, and so we have people actually coming. But on top of people actually coming, we have local, um, I guess you would call them teaching assistants, who come from universities to comment on the students' presentations too. And then also we have an online version we started. We started the online version during Corona to kind of engage with people because we couldn't engage with them because, you know, it was impossible. <laughs> like, we can't engage with people if nobody can come. So since nobody could come to the school, we brought our presentations to them through the online platform. Um, but we decided we liked having it because it was kind of a nice record of all the kids' presentations and we had videos of them doing presentations and all the documents of their presentations. So it was really nice and it was good for them to do. So we've continued that. We've continued having um, the presentations online. But it's it's an effort. It's a lot of work to get all this stuff coordinated because we have... 50 plus projects and guests and online guests and teaching assistants and it's like a game board and getting all of your strategy items together it's hard so worked for most of the free time the planning time for the day working on this event trying to get it all together um additionally on top of that um my AETs are leaving um, and so we're getting new AETs. And so this semester has kind of been kind of a lost semester because the two that are leaving, gosh, it's a hard thing about JET program. Um, because I have JET program AETs, when they come and go is in August. And it's kind of the worst timing because it's good and bad. You start the semester off. So the kids are rolling and the teachers are rolling. But then if you have your experienced people just leave, boop, it's kind of a, it goes down. You, you shift into a lower gear and then you try and get back up to speed again. And since I'm losing both people for the first time ever since I've been at the school, usually one person stays and then they teach the other person when they come about all the stuff, but that ain't happening this time, so it's going to be a giant mess. So, yeah, fun. Fun for me, but because they're leaving they're busy trying to get ready to you know leave japan and get all their lives in order and wrap up all their stuff and they have meetings about going home meanwhile i have to make sure all the programs are happening and there are a lot of classes they team teach in that i don't teach and so i'm trying to learn all the stuff that they do so that i can pass it on to the new people even though i don't do all of those things um so it's just a giant, awful, awful mess. Um, so in the meantime, because this semester has been so busy, they haven't been running some of the programs that they need to run. And so finally during exams, I was like, hey guys, have you started this program in this class and or this program in this class? And they're like, oh no, we haven't because the teachers didn't come to us. So I can't stress this point enough. Um, teachers aren't going to come to you. They might when they're in desperate need, 
But if you want to do a program, if you need to do a program, or if you know the curriculum says there's a program that needs to happen, you need to go to the teacher. Um, I know that, quote unquote, they're the real teachers, they're the certified teachers, blah, blah, blah. But you're a teacher too, um, whether you realize it or not. So you got to get in there. You got to go talk to them. Um, you got to get stuff rolling because if you don't, it will not happen. The teachers are really, really busy. They're running their own stuff and they want to do team teaching. They want to do those things, but they don't even have time to stop and come talk to you because they're busy studying what they need to teach for class. Because remember, I told you, teachers a lot of times change what they're teaching every single year. So they're busy studying um, their new textbook or their new grade or what they have to teach and they're just running on empty. So if you approach them and be like, hey, I've got all these ideas and I want to do this. Can we do this? Okay. Then they'll stop and they'll take the time to talk with you. But you got to kind of push it. Um, it's important. It's important to get in there and say, hey, we need to, to do these programs. So... Um, yeah, I went to my ALTs and I'm like, have you started these programs this year? Because already we've had our midterm exams in the first semester. So we're halfway done with the first term. And they're like, oh, no, we haven't. So I was like, get in there. So today I actually, even though I didn't have class, I made sure that some team teaching classes for other classes were happening. Um, and I kind of hung out in the back and watched it because I have to explain how these things work to the new people because... I don't know how it's going. Um, and I have to learn how it's going because I'm going to have to be the bridge. Otherwise, all these good programs are just going to disappear. So it's got to be done. So I was busy, even though it's my planning to um, getting ready for this event and getting ready for everything else. But it'll be worth it because everything's going to be good. All right, everybody go and have a good day. Have a good coffee and have a good day.